What is up guys, Patriots here, and I'm not sure what you're watching again, and I'm not sure what this series has actually been officially titled. What I do know is we're talking about Death Streaks, which are controversial beyond your understanding. Muhahaha. And I'm going to reference another topic we're going to cover in this series only because it kind of is part of my my point. My my overall point in against Death Streaks and you know that's that. So let's get into it. All right, Death Streaks, what, what are you here for? Why are you here? You're here so, according to Infinity Ward, bad players or new players or however you want to refer to them can get better at the game. Now, explain to me, Infinity Ward, how exactly dropping a grenade out of your ass, blowing up when you die, or any of that makes you a better player. It doesn't. It doesn't make you a better player, any, any, no matter how you turn it, no matter how you try to spin it towards me, no matter how you try to justify your point, it doesn't make you a better player. It just doesn't, because, you know, in COD 4, people got better because they played COD 4. In Modern Warfare 2, people got better because they learned to aim. They didn't get better because they had painkiller on. Because you're not going to always have painkiller on, and if you get better, which is what the intention of Death Streaks are, you're not going to be able to have painkiller on. So you're going to have to get better another way. It ain't gonna be through painkiller, it ain't gonna be through dropping grenades out of your ass, and it ain't gonna be through blowing up when you die. Okay? That's just not how it's gonna be. So, for them to say, well, it makes people better, well, that's crazy. That's just talking out of your ass, that's making up some story to justify your... whatever you're doing. And, my other thing with, you know, Death Streaks has been, well, maybe I die because, you know, someone shoots someone and Marty Dom falls out of their ass and it hits me. And I had nothing to do with it. Even though I feel that I shouldn't die from their failures, I had nothing to do with that in the first place. Well, then my, my death streak, you know, I, I die, my, my kill streak's over. Well, that's unfortunate. But when I kill someone and their death streak kills me, or even better, when I avoid their death streak that could have killed me had the potential to kill me. They had something I didn't. And it had the potential to take me out. I was able to avoid whatever that was. Why don't I get, you know, one up towards my kill streak, one point towards my point streak, one one step forward. You know, if they get something that I don't have and I was able to avoid dying from it, I should get something they don't have. You know? I, I don't understand why you can reward one person, not the other. Like, I, I bring it back to this all the time, but, you know, Peyton Manning didn't get good because every time he threw an interception, they gave him a touchdown. You know, they... Like, it just doesn't happen that way, and Tavares Jackson didn't beat Peyton Manning in the Super Bowl because Tavares Jackson had something he didn't. You know, it's all about skill level, and it's about time played. You know, if they're going to give Tavares, you know, uh, a def no defense, well, they should give Peyton no defense. Or they should give Peyton a bad defense because Peyton's better. But there has to be some balance. If you're going to, you know, put this death streak thing upon us and give them something I don't have, well, give me something, you know, because you may justify it as, well, you're doing good already, but I also, I have a higher risk of dying from something foolish that I had nothing to do with. Like, if you're going to shoot me, fine, you shot me. You won, I died. Fine. I don't expect anything for that. But if I'm going to shoot you and you're going to blow up and combust, well, I do expect something for the fact that you just combusted in front of me. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, you know... Uh, if I'm dying because I played better than someone else, that's stupid. And if I have the potential to die because I outplayed someone, and once again I outplayed someone, why am I not getting something? Because, you know, if Russia had a nuke and the U.S. didn't, and Russia dropped the nuke on the U.S. and we died, well, what are we going to do? That's That doesn't seem fair, does it? They just dropped a nuke on us? But if Russia had a nuke... And we avoided it. Well, now we have the potential to go back at them. But, you know, I'm in the same spot when they have their combusting self. When, you know, when I shoot them and they combust. And if I survive, I'm in the same spot I wasn't meant to go. You know, I'm nowhere. And that reference made no sense. That, that um, I don't know what they call those. Um, metaphor, maybe? That didn't work at all. I understand. I don't know where I was going with that. However, my grand point is... They shouldn't be rewarded for dying, and I shouldn't have a higher risk of life for doing well. You know what I'm saying? Like, Peyton Manning shouldn't have to sacrifice his offensive line because he threw a touchdown. 
you know, in a normal world, he'd get a better offensive line. If you're going to reward people, reward people for doing the right thing, not for doing the wrong thing. You don't reward someone for driving on the wrong side of the road with a driver's license. You reward them for driving on the right side of the road. You don't reward them for going through the stop sign. You reward them for stopping at the stop sign. Simple. Really. Simple. Simple. Simple things that we don't understand. And they have no, they have no counter. They have no counter. Because the counter would be playing better than them. But if they're exploding next to you after you killed them, well, that's not fair. Simple. If they have the potential to get back up after you shoot them, that's not fair because you don't have the potential to get back up. You see what I'm saying? See where I'm going with this? Anyways, once again, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Please give me a like. I love you. I love you very much. And other than that, guys, it's been Patriots. I'll see you all later.